All right, guys, how's it going? Now, before I get into this video, I think it's gonna be a quiet day today because everyone will be talking about, you know, he who shall not be named and yesterday. So I think it's gonna be a quiet day today. Um, so, you know, don't think that, you know, I'm tossing it off or being lazy or anything. Well, no more lazy than I usually am. Um, I will be around, um, but uh, I suspect I'll be on my other YouTube channel this afternoon. Oh, the dog's seeing me. I suspect I'll be on my other YouTube channel this afternoon, youtube.com forward slash Duncan Oldham, O-L-D-H-A-M, um, as I will be uh, live streaming some DMZ, some Call of Duty with my boy Smooth, which is day off today. All right, guys, so see you on that channel this afternoon. I'd love you to come over, come across, subscribe to my channel and that, you know what I mean? Anyway, as you know, I'm in Spain, and um, it's a lovely day. Can you see it? It's turned out nice again, motherfucker. It's, uh, it's nice, it's nice. Um, and there's a lot of chatter today here uh, about Trent Alexander-Arnold and Real Madrid. Now, we take it with a pinch of salt, right? You know, rumours and stuff like that. Especially when it's concerning Real Madrid and the Spanish media, because Real Madrid, they think they can do what they want. Yeah, they're a shit club, to be honest with you. We might say they're a, a prestigious club, do you know what I mean? And all that, which they are. Uh, but I think they treat the uh, the managers shy. I just I, I don't know. I think they're the worst club to be honest with you. I don't, you're probably saying don't be daft, Man United. But no, seriously, I, Man United are just our rivals. You know, Real Madrid. I think it's just fucking shit club. Uh, anyway, that doesn't matter. But they think they can do what they want, and they control the media. And if they want a player, they can be very you know we're going to get them. You know, we are Real Madrid. You know, and all that. Excuse me. So the claims here. Uh, today are that Real Madrid think, assume, are confident that they will be able to land Trent Alexander-Arnold this summer. But do you do believe? I'm not sure I believe that. But what they're going with is they're trying to say that it's because of his relationship with Bellingham, right? I did say Bellingham. Sometimes I say Bellamy. <laughs> uh, I know my memory's bad, but um, anyway. So that's basically the narrative that's here today. Real Madrid confident of landing Trent Alexander-Arnold, having monitored his contract situation at Liverpool, uh, and they think that Bellingham is going to be the pull. Uh, now, where do you sit on this? You, cause you can look at it and say, hang on, man, this is a Liverpool boy. Uh, you know, he's going to be the captain of Liverpool Football Club if he stays at the club. Uh, is he a, a one-club player you'd, you'd expect him to be like that like a Gerard, like a Carragher uh, and I do really like Trent Alexander-Arnold I've got to be honest with you uh, but there are some people that think hang on a minute this is Real Madrid and if he had a chance to go with the change of manager and everything now could be the time uh, for him to do that however um, he has a year remaining on his contract I believe which is why there is the suggestions that Real Madrid might be able to do something um, but the word from Anfield is that you know, that Richard Hughes, the new sporting director or whatever you want to call him, uh, is presently trying to, you know, sort these contractual situations out with the players. And it wouldn't surprise me um, in terms of making announcements with, um, with new deals and that, that the club will stagger these announcements in periods to keep the mood good um, especially over the summer, maybe. I don't know. You know, FSG are absolute masters of this. Uh, you know, they'll drop some news when, when they need a distraction or... Do you know what I mean? A little bit like, oh, new, you know, new signing kind of thing. A new, it's like a new player at Trent or Virgil or whoever's extended a contract. And it's like a new signing, you know, and all that. Um, so... The mood at the moment is pleasant, I think, in the fan base. It's people are not depressed. Well, yeah, I suppose they are depressed. It's, it's just like, mm, you know, we lost Jürgen and all that. So the club need to, to raise that, you know. Uh, now, you're probably thinking, what does it matter? But when the, when the mood goes bitter and negative, it, that's when the, all, the FSG out stuff starts and all them start, you know, getting the placards out and that. Uh, and FSG, that's when they tend to drop good news. So, I think that, yeah, the mood is like that, uh, but they don't need to do anything. They don't need to play the media at the moment because they're about to announce on a slot, right? And when they do that, that's, you know, a period of optimism and you manager, let's see what we're going to do and everything. And then if we have a bit of a naff summer, 
uh, you know, in the transfer market or people are like, hang on a fucking minute, then that's when you will see some good news, that's what I think. Anyway, that's by the by. I'm only telling you what's being claimed here in Spain today. All right? I don't know if that's reached anybody in the UK yet, uh, because I'll be honest with you, I got up this morning and, and I've been straight out to the cafe for the breakfast. You know what I'm saying? That won't surprise you, will it? Just been out for some bacon and egg and a coffee and that, you know. Uh, and I'm back here making some videos for you now. Uh, and I saw the newspapers when I was in the, uh, in the cafe and I was speaking to a couple of Spanish friends, you know. Uh, and they were pointing out to me what was being said because yeah, I couldn't read Spanish, but you know, never, I'm not a native Spanish speaking sp uh, person, so I, I un understand maybe 70% of what's in a written if I read Spanish, you know what I mean? Um, and they were telling me um, the vibe is in the, in the media uh, that Trent Alexander Arnold could be uh, you know, bound for uh, Real Madrid because of his relationship. Uh, with Bellingham, so it'd be interesting to keep an eye on these players' socials over the summer, you know, see if they spend a bit of time together and stuff. That doesn't mean, you know, like you don't see a picture of them and go, that's it, it's on his leave, you know what I mean? It's not like that. Um, but what you can do is if you see a picture of them two together on Instagram, for example, over the summer, and around the same days, the same time, the papers or the media are making claims in Spain or, you know, there's been talks and that. It does get a little bit suspicious. So I'll be watching that for you, especially with me having the benefit uh, of being here in Spain. All right. So what do you think? Do you think Trent Alexander-Arnold will extend his contract at Liverpool? I suspect he will. I think he will, guys. I'm not concerned in the slightest. Um, never say never in football. Wouldn't be shocked uh, if uh, if something happened in terms of, of Real Madrid, uh, but I just I have that feeling that I just have this feeling that the club will sort out these things that need sorting out the contracts, and that they'll be announcing a timely program. You know, like when when we need to hear it, if that makes sense, not just randomly. So if they'd agreed it today, I don't think they'd announce it today. Uh, I think you know they'll focus on our slot, and then it's, it's very managed by Liverpool Football Club. I don't know if it's like that in American sports in general. Over in America, I've never looked into that. You know what I mean? Other sports, you know, uh, but they are very clever with it. So anyway, just thought I'd bring it to your attention. Um, it'll be a quiet day today, I think, guys. <clears throat> like I say, I'll probably be on my other YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Duncan Oldham. Uh, come along, subscribe. You can jump in the chat. I can still talk about Liverpool when I'm chilling with my boy. Like, you know what I mean? Um, I think tomorrow will be um, more interesting for us in terms of content and things like that. All right. So, hope you had a great weekend. If you appreciate the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please drop me a comment. Do you think, you know, he'll stay? You, are you worried at all about that one? Uh, let me know. If you want to buy me a beer or a coffee, hit the super thanks. Please read the video description. Get in the chat room. Sign up to the newsletter. It's all free. There's going to be a lot of uh, stuff going out by email um, over the summer because now that the season's finished, I'm going to have more time. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Have a good day. If, listen, if there's anything that we need to talk about today, I promise you I'll come out and, uh, and talk to you again. I like it up here. Would you like this? Do you like this view? It's all right up here, isn't it? Uh, this is next to my writing room. Um, it's nice. I did the um, morning briefing out the back this morning, but it was too bright, do you know what I mean? So, all right, guys, have a good one, uh, and we'll speak soon.